Here's a question that came in from one of my readers. Procrastination seems to be my main issue currently. My job is interesting and challenging, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Good for you. I'm glad to hear that. And I believe my compensation is reasonable. Even better, right? But it normally takes lots of mental effort to get myself started. And when I dive into my work, I pretty much always do a good job. But if I'm distracted in the middle, including at the end of the workday, it just takes lots of mental effort to start again. What do I do? This is a great question. I think this happens to a lot of us that we might have the energy to get something started. But when we get into the middle, I often call it the messy middle, then it's so easy to be called for the distractions, right? Here's why. This is where it gets hard. Easy for a lot of us to start, right? The start is clear. I've got to start working on this presentation. I've got to start planning out that retreat. I've got to start diving into that report. We typically know some place to start, but then we get into it and then it gets difficult. It, we have different branches to pick as to where we go next. It can get confusing. So what do we do? We find something that feels easier to do. And here's why this happens all about the brain. The brain is always scanning our environment for safety, always scanning our environment for what's easy. The brain doesn't want to burn more calories than it needs to. Its goal is to keep you safe. And if it gets uncomfortable, the brain signals and shoots all those hormones to your body that say, this is not safe. This is not easy. I better back off. And so when we listen to that little lizard brain, that part of our brain says, this is hard. It's really easy to go to try to find something to relieve that tension. In some cases, that might be, oh, I better check my email, right? Email is a killer squirrel. It is one of the worst distractions that we can have. But yet, how much time do we spend in it? How many times do we go to our email because we don't want to miss something, but also because we're not willing to muscle through the places where the work is getting hard. It's natural that when something gets harder, our tendency is to back off. So knowing this and being somebody like my reader who said, I know this is happening. I see it happening. Why does this happen? We've got to prepare ourselves in advance. Preparation is the best antidote to fear, to failure. So preparing and knowing, hey, at some point, this project is going to get hard. Knowing that in advance says, and when that happens, here's my strategy. So I read about this in Red Cape Rescue and one of the, one of the uh, clients that I had talked to who tried some of these tools decided that when, not if, when that inevitable point happens, I'm deciding in advance that my strategy is to go and drink a glass of water. So it creates a little break, creates a moment, but it resets her brain. But the strategy is not go have a glass of water and then go check Facebook, go check TikTok. It's have a glass of water and then now it's coming back. So she's deciding in advance not to let herself off the hook of not continuing when it gets hard, but to acknowledge it, to give it a moment to step away, have that glass of water, and then to come back. And so when you decide in advance how you're going to behave in those times when you get stuck, when you get overwhelmed, then you remove the choices 